Hello YouTube, Jedi Man 2005 here with a review of the Kaito Sentai Lupin Ranger vs. Keisato Sentai Pato Ranger. Kaito Henkeju DX Lupin Magnum. Right, so this is another piece of the collection. This is, uh, let's say it's the most powerful item and uh, the Lupin Rangers have to go through a test to earn it, uh, which Lupin Red passes. Uh, and it has two forms, it has a gun mode and a robot mode. There's the show logo, right? Uh, Kaito Henkeju DX Lupin Magnum. It's got sounds. Uh, on the side is Lupin Red wielding it. And there's the gun on this side. You see the robot mode and its stats. On the back, for some reason, uh, Lupin X is there. And with red, and you're seeing the that you can do uh, one, two, three different attack sounds. Uh, there is uh, Lupin Magnum Superior when it uh, excuse me combines with the blue and yellow dial fighters. And there is uh, you transform it into this mode using it with the gun and Superior. Words are on the bottom of the box. So this is. It right here it is this gun that does not have an on-off switch it makes these gun noises uh, loop and ranger logo right there there's the rails for when you put it on the VS changer 053 is its number now it's got this these you line up these blue arrows and it is now in the gun mode you can see this arrow here it's when I turn it to there that it unlocks uh, to form um, its robot mode. Uh, right, so they call this Magnum mode because it's Lupin Magnum. Uh, let's go ahead and put it on the VS Changer once I turn it on. There we go. All right, there we go this way. I'm not coordinated. Lupin Fever. All right, so pulling the trigger on the VS Changer does nothing. Right? That's the sound. So then if I turn this, it starts to count in French. Itadaki do strike. Right? I said, un, one. Um, do. Right, so now it's got two. It's a different attack. Right, now kind of the three. Itadaki do 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 strike. And it should have, from before, it should have said Itadaki do do strike, but it didn't really quite say that right. See? There we go. That's what it's supposed to say. Alright, so we've lined the arrow back up. Let's go ahead and take this off. Thank you for your assistance, VS Changer. So we're going to go ahead and twist this. Now it says Dialyze. That unlocks this so that when I click this, it should automatically drop, but it didn't. Click them into place. Open the arms. Rotate. Twist down. Fold this piece down. And now this is your standard robo mode. For Lupin uh, Magnum. Pulling the trigger makes this noise. And you can hear it. I guess I didn't, maybe didn't pull it all the way. Uh, it clicks. Right? And that's how you know that it's, uh, it's ready to go. Now, what I'm going to do is I already have blue and yellow. So to make superior, I'm, I'm really just going to rotate the arms like this, all right? And uh, plug them on, like so. 
it's and it's a very difficult transformation. So I hope everyone watched. Um, right. So that's that's what we got. Is Lupin Magnum uh, Superior, right? So yeah, that's that's pretty much it for Lupin Magnum Superior. Uh, if I wanted to, I could take, you know, any of the other ones. Biker, Crane, Scissors, Cyclone, Splash, Magic, any of them, and stick them on those arm joints, right? But this is kind of the way you see it in the show. So again, it's it's customizable um, with whatever vehicles uh, are your preference. Uh, but that's pretty neat. I mean, he does have this giant uh, handle in his back. But, uh, it, you know, some things just don't always translate well from screen to toy because they can do different things with the suits than you can with a children's toy. But uh, still a pretty fun little guy. So let's go ahead and bring him back into his gun mode, right? We're going to pop the arms off, flip up his crotch protector, right? Which is kind of weird to say about a robot gun. Um, and then fold these up. So let's see if I can click it. Every time I do it, there we go. That did it that time. That's what I wanted it to do before. We'll switch it back to this to lock it so that now it doesn't click back all the way and it will stay as a gun. So let's let's uh, stick it right there. So the Lupin Magnum. Um, it's neat. It's definitely different, right? I really can't think of a time that we've had a weapon that's also a mecha. I'm probably forgetting something somewhere along the way. I mean, I know we had Zuban, which was a sword that was kind of like a mecha helper back in Bokendra. So I guess there's that. But, uh, yeah, you don't, it's not something that they do very often. But uh, it's pretty neat, and I do like that it's, you know, another way you can combine. It's another way you can pick vehicles up off the shelf and have them in some kind of a combination. Um... So yeah, that's that's a it's a fun thing, and it's it is a pretty good size little gun because gun toys are usually a lot better proportioned than sword toys. So yeah, that's it for this guy. Uh, until next time, which as usual is more Geo toys because we do one Sentai toy and then like eighty million rider reviews. Uh, check out the podcast drawsrangerrebels.com for the latest Toku news and the creative stuff possible. As always, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.